morning to you. This is the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We apologize for starting behind schedule. It was occasioned by um, a power surge. My name is Justin Akadoni. And I am Messi Bopo. On the show today, a whole lot is happening, but let's just take a look at what happened. Um, we as the World Creativity and Innovation Day is celebrated today, we are looking at the importance of creativity and innovation in problem solving at different level of the Nigerian polity. Also on the breakfast, President Mohamed Buhari at the Council of State meeting granted pardons under the prerogative of Messi to Joshua Darie of Plateau State and Jolly Nyema of Taraba State, both serving jail terms for misappropriation of funds, and 157 other inmates who have been granted this pardon. Is this a retirement from the fight against corruption or a political move? And don't forget, we also will be looking through today's newspapers and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Once again, thanks for staying with us on the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Just yesterday, the APC, uh, you know, was in the news, and uh, they have uh, come out to announce um, uh, the forms uh, for an uh, expression of interest and the nomination forms. And it has got a whole lot of people talking. Specifically, the presidential nomination form has been pegged at 100 million naira. Let me just give you a bit of a background. Now, the ruling All Progressives Congress, uh, APC, fixed uh, its presidential nomination and expression of interest forms at 100 million naira. The expression of interest form for the presidential aspirant is expected to go for 30 million naira, while the nomination form is pegged at 70 million naira. Uh, this, however, contrasts the 40 million naira that the main opposition, that's the People's Democratic Party, pegged their own. Uh, it is charging uh, its presidential aspirant uh, comprising 5 million naira for nomination forms and 5 million naira for expression of interest. This was actually announced by their uh, spokesperson, Felix Moka. So, Mercy, that has actually generated a whole lot of generation you know, from Nigerians. 100 million naira you know, for expression of interest and the nomination form you know, for the presidency. Um, so it, it's quite a, I mean, I would not say unfortunate, it might just always be quite unfortunate, but it's really interesting uh, to note that in 2014, the president had lamented the exorbitant uh, 275 million naira at the time. That was in, of course, you know that the president became president in 2015. He won the 2015 election, but of course in 2014, then uh, he wasn't the president. He lamented the fact that it was exorbitant, 27.5 million naira, mm -hmm. the expression of uh, interest. interest and nomination form. At that time, he talked about it, you know, the fact that he had to acquire it with bank loans. Now, um, just recently, the president also talked about he, the process that brought him was a fair and credible system. And so he's going to ensure that that happens in 2023. So. Nigeria should be rest assured. But at the party level, which is very fundamental to the democratic process, what is going on? So you have um, the forms put out this prize, 100 million naira. That's a lot. That's or a, a lot. If, I really don't understand what happened. So way back in 2014. Uh, 27.5 million was so much money, and the president lamented that he had to, Maybe you know, take back loans. And now <laughs> it's uh, not very exorbitant. Uh, so, but it just brings us back to the argument that's been going on in the space. It's no longer history. That this has become very fundamental. Mm -hmm. The money politics or the money back politics that we practice. It is very critical to the electoral process, and it constantly frustrates and flaws the entire democratic process because this is where it starts from. Imagine you having to take a loan of 100 million naira. You want to get your return. So it, 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 it has now become business. Elections have now become business and investment. And so uh, mostly you, you would invest, be very pain. you must get returns somehow. Your focus would be how to um, take back all of this monies that you have invested. But this should not be the case. A lot of people, as much as the argument has been put out and saying, oh, there's been some discount that's been given to those between the ages of about 25 to 40, people, yes, uh, young people, yeah. and then women, those with disabilities, all of those con um, consideration. But you look at this, at this time, considering the economic situation that the country is faced with, it is really, really um, very, 
interesting to know that the APC and including the PD, they're not left out. So you still talk about 40 million. We constantly make this. And so um, is this pattern supposed to discourage persons from contesting? Or are these political parties now meant for the reach? What is going on? What sort of principle? How did we even get to this point? What is the rationale behind, you know, putting Such this forms, sort of price tag? And so who can afford? What exactly is going on? We cannot say we want to strengthen our democratic process without paying attention, you know, to the um, activities or to the parties, I mean, political parties, which I would always say is a vehicle to the entire process. So if we're not getting it right at that level, at political party level, how do we not get it right at the bigger level? Because bigger that's level. what will happen. Yes, it's going to be a trickle-down effect. If, if, if it's placed so highly, you know, those who have genuine interest, the young people who are may have one or two things to contribute to the nation's polity, you know, they'll see that as a drawback because uh, even if they want to contest for governorship, which was spent that, uh, you know, 50 million, they would like... Uh, you know, start thinking of how to get about uh, 50 million naira, and somehow it will be a discouragement. It's, it's, it's even, um, it will even disenfranchise them because uh, they cannot really get on the, the race because of um, just money. And I don't think that's actually a good thing that we are doing in deepening democracy in Nigeria. But we'll not stay much on that. Uh, we'll take a quick break now, and uh, when we come back very quickly, we'll go straight to Off the Press in a moment to join us again.